what's been happening in the Milton real estate market? If that question's on your mind, then you're gonna wanna watch this video. Welcome to the Milton Market Minute. I'm Shalene Enriquez with Raymax Real Estate Center and your time is valuable. So stay with me for the next minute or so where we're gonna deep dive into what's been happening in the Milton real estate market and help you make sense of it all. The April stats are in and the Milton real estate market is still very much in a hot seller's market. We reported 0.6 months of inventory in Milton for the month of April. Now to put that in context for you, what that means is we look at months of inventory to sort of gauge how hot the market is. So a balanced market will usually have between four to six months of inventory. Anything over six months of inventory would make it a buyer's market. And anything under four months makes it a seller's market. In Milton in April, we were 0.6 months, so not even one month of inventory, which can show you just how great the demand has been for real estate. Now in March, we were 0.4, so even less than that. So that was a very tight market for buyers as well. Now in April, across all home types, we had 342 home sales. Now that's down from March where there were 427 home sales across all home types. Overall home sales are still way up. We're sitting at 1,199 home sales year to date. Now that's up from 528 home sales in April 2020. Now mind you, in April 2020, the market came to a veritable standstill in April of 2020 because COVID measures that were in place and we were in a lockdown and still everyone was figuring out what was going on. So there wasn't a lot of real estate happening in April of 2020. Now our average home price across all home types in Milton year to date is sitting at a million 36,000. Now that is up significantly from April of 2020 year to date, where we were 803,000. So that's a 29% increase from April 2020 to April 2021. Our average days on market for April 2021 was nine, and in March we were sitting at seven. So I can see the days on market is just slightly increased. Now this is a stat that we take a little bit with a grain of salt because there's something that happens in the market sometimes where people will list a home and maybe pull it off the market if it's not been selling and then put it back on and that does reset the clock. So days on market, I watched that statistic, but it's not the be all and end all. And in important stat is the average sale price to list price ratio and across all home types in April that was at 107%. It was also 107% in March. Now what average sales price to list price ratio means is that on average across all home types buyers were paying 7% more than the asking price of a home. Now over the last four weeks or so I have noticed a shift in the market where some homes are not getting as many showings and there may not be as many offers coming to the table on offer night. I've also noticed homes that were expecting offers on offer night not get any and have to cancel and relist. Now that's not across all home categories, but it's definitely not something that we were seeing happening on the regular in January and March. About middle of April, I started to notice this a little bit more. That's why it's important that you are paired up with a local real estate representative when you are going to purchase a home because I'm actively working in the market and watching the Milton real estate market all the time, really attuned to what's happening and when we see shifts coming. And with my buyers and sellers, we're able to pivot accordingly. And that leads us into the number one question that I've been getting asked from buyers and sellers this month. Are we gonna keep seeing the same trajectory of prices going up, up, up as quickly as they have in 2021? Now it has no doubt been a crazy year in real estate and in the world, no less. But as I was saying, over the last four weeks, I really noticed more of a shift happening in the market. Now that's not for every market segment because if you are a gorgeous, large home with a pool, then you are doing very well. <laughs> Pools are still, I think, number one for people looking for those COVID homes with a home office and a pool. Don't get me wrong, the market is still very hot. 0.6 months of inventory, that is a hot seller's market. But do I think prices are gonna keep 
escalating at the pace that they have been? No, I don't. I think that we've sort of leveled out now. I didn't see much, you know, very dramatic price increase from March to April. I think that we've sort of hit that new peak or echelon of prices. And I think that we will be steady, slower pace of increases going forward. Will maybe another record breaking month? I don't see that happening. If you are curious about what your new home's value is, send me a message. I'm happy to speak with you. And if you're thinking about entering the Milton real estate market and are wondering, you know, what can I actually afford? What are homes selling for? Give me a call and I'm happy to go over all of that with you. Now there's different price categories. If you're looking for town homes or three story town homes or detached homes. So I know it's been really challenging for buyers when you are looking on realtor.ca and you see home prices and then the homes are not selling for that price. So if you are curious what they're actually selling for, you can always go to my website, soldbyshalini.com. I have access to all of the sold prices on there or give me a call and let me know. I'm working with even buyers right now where we just won't go see some properties because I'm pretty sure they're gonna go over what their budget is. But as I've said lately, I have seen some homes just not hit those upper numbers that we had seen in the past. So this could be a great opportunity for buyers. If you were sitting on the sidelines and didn't really wanna get into this market, some of the homes where we had seen, you know, 10 or 12 offers, now they're maybe only getting two or three, or if you're lucky, you are the only one that comes to the table that night. Now I'm curious, what do you think is gonna happen with home prices? Do you see them continuing to increase and increase? Or do you think we're gonna level out? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that bell because next week we're gonna be talking about the best neighborhoods in Milton. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.